Hey guys, it's me, Alidog15, and welcome back to the Bunny Challenge. This is episode 6, and we are doing some mining. I wasn't planning on filming this, but, you know, it, I felt like it now. So, we need iron desperately. Let's check our music and sounds so we can make sure we hear everything. Okay, we see a creeper in the distance. I hate going in ravines and stuff, but I wasn't having any luck finding any iron when I was mining. So, I just have a bunch of cobble now. And that's no fun. Aw, oh, my pick. <laughs> so we're gonna try to head down. Hopefully I don't fall off. Ah. Ack. Um, let's get rid of the carrots for now. We don't need constant carrot. Okay, here we go. Let's make a little area. We cannot die again. I do, I'm not starting the bunny challenge over again. Let's grab this iron. We need... We still need a lot, because we need an anvil, and we need to start getting bunnies. We really do. I want to go bunny venturing, but we can't name them without an anvil, so. Let's grab this. So we have six iron, and at home I believe I have fifteen, because I brought three with me. Oh, this is not where I came from. Um, so yeah, so let's see. If we have six and fifteen, ah! That's twenty-one. Don't shoot me! Ow! He actually hit me! How do you do that? I'm gonna box myself in. Okay, and we'll box off the top. Okay, so I'm gonna keep mining. Not gonna let any skellies bother me. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, just gotta keep this count. We just need 31, because I don't think I really need iron for anything else besides the anvil. Uh, we have 12, okay. 13, and we're gonna need more levels, because you need one level per name. So, that's a hundred levels in total. So, we're gonna go back over here. Keep searching for iron. Ah! Okay, we'll go down here. Where am I? Where am I? What is this area? How did I get a torch over there? How did I do that? Oh, there's iron! Ooh, but I don't really want to bridge over there because something's gonna shoot me. Look at all those. All those skeletons. Don't you shoot me. Don't you shoot me. Okay, let's go. This is like Sky Wars. I wonder if you guys want to watch any Minecraft mini games, because I mostly like to do series on my channel. But if you want to see any mini games or anything like that, let me know. Okay, let's block this off so that skeleton can't get me. Okay, this is good. I take lots of safety precautions. Because I cannot die in the bunny challenge. No siree. So, let's see. If we have 15 at home, we need 16 here. Oh, wait. We have 18. I think that's enough. Yeah, that's enough for an anvil, so let's go home. I've done the math. Run! Run, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. I hope you guys are all having the best day in the world. If you're not, I'm so sorry to hear that, but I hope your day gets better. Is this where I came from? Yeah, it is. Okay. We're gonna block this off, but we're gonna, like, mark it with a torch. We should mark it with something special. No, I have nothing special. Okay, we're just gonna head back up. Oh, and it's almost nighttime, or it's almost daytime. I'm not sure which. I think it's nighttime. It's turning into nighttime. Yeah, it is. We're gonna go harvest those carrots in the morning. Don't want to get attacked by any monsters. That would not be fun. So, I think I might change the bunny nursery a little bit. Make it a lot bigger. Definitely. That's for sure. And then we also need... Okay, so, split that. And we'll put that in there. Okay. Where'd my carrots go? Carrots need some yummy num nums. Okay, and let's go to sleep. Sleep, 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 sleep. So we need to expand the bunny nursery a little bit because I would like a floor per maybe ten to fifteen bunnies. Let's see, one hundred. It's not divisible by fifteen, is it? Or yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Of course it is. No, it's not. Wait, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. It's not divisible by fifteen. <laughs> so hundreds divisible by twenty-five, twenty. Maybe one floor per 20 bunnies? That's a lot of bunnies. Ugh. Okay, 24. So we need three blocks. Eh, that's not a block. And one more. Oh, okay, we ran out. So we have almost enough. Let's grab this, and we'll grab this. We need one more. Come on. Boom. Okay, and then we'll make one more block. And villain. And villain. And villain. <laughs> and villain. Okay. Okay, and we got... We need one more. We need one more. Come on, guys. Come on. Who's going to give me it? Who's going to give me it? Which furnace? Which furnace? I don't know. Furnace. Place your bets now. It's this one. <gasps> oh, 
I realize I'm not using my bunny challenge skin. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, that's because I was about to film Alice in, Alice in Wonderland, but you know, it takes a while for skins to update, so I'm waiting for that. And I didn't plan on filming, as I told you guys, so that's why I'm not wearing my bunny challenge skin. But you can't tell because I'm wearing armor. <laughs> so, you can see my armband. Uh, um, plant, plant. Let's plant one here. We have this wheat that I never use. It's mostly for attracting sheep and stuff, but I don't need to because they're all just- I let them roam free. Free roaming farm, I guess. So, let's go plant some more of these, and then we'll use some of them for our bunny venture. That's gonna be my whole new word now. And let's go expand. Let's expand the bunny nursery a little bit. Okay, guys, I got all the wood supplies that I have. So we can go. All right, I need to change the anvil texture because I forgot that I would be using anvils and stuff, so I didn't change that texture yet. So let's go to the bunny nursery, and we are going to go make it bigger. And better, cause better is bigger. A little bit is never enough. No, no, no. I'm gonna take out those fences, I think, and I might just use them as decor. I'm so sad. I gotta get rid of all this glass because we're going to expand this way. Okay, cool. Cool beans, right? All right, and we're gonna get rid of all these fences because they're ugly. And we need a better, um, a better staircase situation. How am I to get the bunnies upstairs? That's gonna be the hard part, the tricky part. I mean, I could make a basement level downstairs but I'd rather not so I think we'll make this 20 bunnies per floor but then we will put like a little room oh oh is that chicken coming in hello <laughs> the chicken nursery now do I have a crafting table yay I do let's put that oh oh no no okay and we'll do that 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 and bam bam shakalaka Oh, look, we're just get, we're just attractive to chickens. We're chicken attractive. <laughs> oh, I really need to finish editing my Sims videos because I have a bunch of them recorded, and I don't like to edit them down, so they're pretty much not going to have much editing on them. Just going to leave them be. But Sims is really fun. I really get into it, but when I play, I play for hours upon hours upon hours. So let's make this a whole new room. Should I leave this here? Yeah, I guess I'll leave that there. We need to add more glass, probably. That would be recommended. We could actually make three rooms per floor, but no. Well, let's see. Lots of math to think about here. If we have a hundred bunnies, we need um. We need. Let's see. And you divide maybe. Oh, I see some dancing carrots in the distance. It's gonna be a towering. This will be like the crusty towers that episode of SpongeBob. That's what it's gonna be like. It's gonna be the bunny hotel. I'm gonna bring these in just a tad bit. Give it a little texture, you know? Don't want everything to be a square. Not in Minecraft. I had a dream that a rhino licked me. It was very peculiar. <laughs> and, you know, I thought the rhino was gonna attack me because he attacked other people. But the rhino licked me because I'm, I'm a rhino friend. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people are always asking me about my texture pack and stuff. And, you know, I just mixed them together. So you guys could totally do that as well. Um, let me put this away in my furnace. It's, it's not that hard. Um, I thought it would be hard, but then I was able to do it. So yay, because I'm pretty newbie at all this stuff, but I'm getting better at computery things. I don't know. So let's put this iron away. Yeah, so what you have to do, you just copy textures from a different texture pack, like Control c you know? You select them and you copy them. And then you just go Control v into your own texture pack folder. You know, and then it'll be like, do you want to replace this file? And you click yes, then you have replaced the file. Um, for the high on sugar clouds, I just added it to the cloud folder and it just came in. But that's basically it. You just control C, control V, choose and pick, pick and choose your textures and you're all good. Then you have them and they're in. And you know, you just gotta put it in. Um, I don't know if that, that was helpful, a helpful explanation. Probably wasn't, I'm bad at explaining. But I could leave like um, a link. So what I do is I downloaded the default resource pack because um, some people said that you could just get it from Minecraft. I couldn't find it. So I went ahead and found a download for the default resource pack. And I went ahead and did that. And then, what else did I do? Oh yeah, let's see. So after I found that default resource pack, I went ahead and renamed it to Bunny Challenge, I believe. And what you have to do, actually, first, I found the default pack, and I'll, I, I think I can leave it a link in the description to a place where you can download the default resource pack, so you can edit it yourself. And 
what I did was first I made my own mixture because that was what I did first. Then I made the bunny one, I think, or Alice in Wonderland. Not sure which one came first. So I took it, and then there was a folder inside of the zip that said like default pack or something. That's the folder you need. So bring that out, and then put it into your resource packs folder, or you could leave it on your desktop while you're editing. I don't know. Whatever you want. I'm gonna get rid of these stairs. These stairs are ugly. <laughs> these are ugly. Why did I choose this? This wood. That no. It just doesn't look good, especially because it was over my window. No, 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 no. Uh, the second one looks a little bit smaller, but that's okay. That's okay. The bunnies will be fine. And we're gonna do that. You know, bunnies actually can't have too many carrots, because there's a lot of sugar in them, isn't there? Okay, back to my explanation about making your own texture pack, or your own edit of a texture pack. So, back to what I was saying. You just go ahead and take, take the textures, and you just copy it. No. What was that? Okay, so I was on the folder. Okay, so the folder. That's what I was saying. So you have the folder, and it says, like, default resource pack, or you change it to whatever you want to call it. And then you go in, like, you double-click it, and then it'll say, like, Minecraft, I think? There's a lot of different folders you gotta double-click. Just double-click them all until you find the right folders. And you'll find, eventually, you'll find the textures folder and stuff. And then, uh-oh, is it nighttime? Poop. Poop knuckles! Ah, oh, dang, it's night. Okay. Back to my explanation. I got distracted, you know? I got distracted. So, then what you gotta do, you just go find the textures folder, and eventually you'll be able to find all the textures. Um, they're all in different, different areas. You know, but you'll find them, and then you can just copy, paste, and fix it all. There, MIDI actually has a video on how to change textures, so if you, um, if you want, I'll leave a link to that as well in the description, so that you know how to do it. MIDI can teach you, sort of, but it's pretty simple. In the end, you just copy and paste them. Once you once you know how to do it, it's really easy. So let's go harvest some carrots. I see you. Oh man! Why to do that? Okay. I will. I'll fix that later. I don't have a hoe with me at the moment. Um, that was not smart, but whatever. And we'll plant these. Plant these. Uh, I think I should get rid of this wheat because I don't need this wheat. I mostly need carrots. So bye bye wheat. We'll leave that row of wheat, but we'll take these. Okay, and we'll let those all grow a little bit. So that's great. Oh, no, that's not the fence. Here's the fence. Okay. So yeah, that's all you need to know about texture pack mixing. Um, and I can't put the download for it because of, you know, you can't do put any download, I think, of texture packs and use it for commercial uses or something. You know, I can't post your own mix. One, two, three, because that would be copyright. So this is three. Let's get rid of this. This looks weird. And we're gonna put... Maybe we could put some stairs there because I have a bunch of stairs and I like to add them for a nice nice touch. No, that's not the way I wanted you to go. Go that... No. No. Okay, where'd the other stair go? There it is. Boop. And we'll put some slabs on the roof. Little roof slab. Ooh, that's nice. I like it. And then that'll lead into this bunny room. So that's where we'll put the first bunnies. They'll go all the way into the back room, and I wish this was even so I could have two gates because the bunnies might have a hard time getting through that gate. I could put three gates, live life a little bit on the edge there. Uh, why do they open like that? They open the opposite directions. Whatever. So we got three gates so the bunnies can run right on through. Should I leave the floor as grass? What do you guys think? I think I'll change the floor here, give it a little chic look. You know, let's change it to, um, cobble? Should we use cobble? No. Oh. Ah, I closed it. Uh, should we use cobble? No, cobble looks weird. We gotta use wood. So, yeah. But bunnies, they can't have too many carrots, I believe. Whoa, look, I got them all to open the same way. I'm gonna leave them that way. And I guess we'll leave some wood there, a nice little wood flooring to symbolize the different rooms and I think I'll leave it as grass because that'll leave the bunnies in like their natural habitat maybe I'll put a little bit of carpeting around I'll put like a water hole right here uh, but I don't want the bunnies to drown can the bunnies swim I think they can swim so we could put some water there Oops. so we need to figure out where to put stairs so we have the water hole here and bunnies can't go up ladders so we need stairs so let's put some stairs right here how about and we'll put they could be like the the little the the going around ones, I guess. I don't know. Can the bunnies walk up that? They probably can. We'll hope for the best. Oh look, here we are. Here we are. Oh. There we go. Boom. 
I need more slabs. Ah! I misjudged that. <laughs> I've been filming for a while now, I think. Let's see, what time is it? Uh, it's been a while, so I'm probably going to end this episode soon. I just really wanted to expand the bunny nursery a little bit, talk about the texture pack and all that. And then also I wanted to do some mining with you guys so we can make the anvil. But next episode, we will definitely go find some bunnies because now the bunny nursery has begun. It is really getting larger, which is great. It's grand. And yeah, so that's all I had to talk about for this episode. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Let me do my outro. I'm going to do it with my armor on because I'm not wearing the right skin and I'm going to hide that fact. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, everybody. If... What was I going to say? Oh, have an amazing day. If you're not already, hugs to the camera. Please like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And of course, leave a comment because I love to comment. Love to comment. Commenting's fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day and goodbye.